Okay, we are at uh, uh, production of electromagnetic waves by antennas. Uh, let's share the um, the uh, PowerPoint, and you can see you can see that there's an electric field on here. You can see that the uh, on one side this is a dipole antenna. On one side is positive, on one side it's negative, and so you have an E field coming from the the positive charges going into the negative charges, and you can even think of it as a as the uh, charges move up and down the antenna. It's creating a current which creates a magnetic field. You can see the B in is the little fletchings on the arrow uh, going into the uh, power point, and it's coming out on this side. So you can see that that there is indeed a an electromagnetic wave being set up, and the pointing vector is going out on either side of the uh, antenna, so it's radiating outward, um, and the, the distance from the origin to a point on the edge of the, the tan shape is proportional to the magnitude of the pointing vector and the intensity of radiation in that direction. So you can, you can see this almost as like a little donut that is surrounding the antenna. It's radiating outward, a little uh, kind of a donut shape, 3D donut shape, that is uh, the radiation pattern for this particular antenna. Uh, so if the antenna in figure 3411 represents the source um, of a distant radio station, what would be the best orientation for your portable radio antenna located to the right of the figure? Uh, up and down along the screen, left to right along the screen, or perpendicular to the screen? Well, in order to catch most of the electromagnetic radiation, you would want it up and down along the screen. Um, and that indeed is the answer. Then uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll stop there and we'll go on to uh, the spectrum.